Hi, welcome to the data tech. So today we are going to discuss about how to identify the duplicate records in my database in the table. Okay, so uh, the main agent of the video is just to find out the duplicate records. It's not like I'm not going to delete it or dedupe it. When I say dedupe, delete the duplicate record is what we call it as a dedupe or I'm not going to get the count. The agenda is just to identify the duplicate records and share the details with the downstream or to the solution architect or to whom are going to correct the data. Fine. So how the duplicates first of all happens in the table? There are multiple reasons. For example, the data that comes from the front end to back end, there must be a bug or thus there must be a design issue in creating the table or imagine they are doing a bulk data migration. For example, so imagine you are using this e-commerce website like Amazon for the last seven, five years, all your data has been stored there. And even Amazon stores all their customer information somewhere in Oracle, imagine. Now they are planning to migrate this to a new database from MySQL to Oracle or Oracle to MySQL or to any other modern DB. So during this migration, there could be some bugs might have happened with respect to uh, by the manual error or human error, or there could be some code bug. So this is all some reasons why this duplicates enter into picture. So first of all, we have to identify whether the table has a duplicate. If so, we have to get the duplicate records. Now let's get into the practical part. So I have the create DDL, which is required for this particular video the topic. So I just created a table as employee. I have ID field and which has been marked as primary key. When I say primary key, ID field cannot have duplicates, but other fields can have because they are not marked as primary key, right? So account number, where care, first name, last name and department. So let me just create this table. Okay. So I have the insert statesman with me. So I'm going to run this insert also. Before we get into the next one, I just wanted to show you the data here. If you see the first two record has duplicate account numbers. Now, if they are asking you to identify the duplicates, you have to ask the question. So based on what column, I have to decide whether the table has duplicate value or not. Imagine by seeing this data, easily we can say, okay, always it's based on account number. Because if you go for any bank or even uh, some, if you are working for an employer, they, they are not going to give you the same employee ID or same account number, right? Imagine first name and last name and even the city or the department that you are working for can be same for other person also. But account number might not be same. Phone number might not be same. Employee ID might not be same. Right. So they are considered to be an unique. But imagine this data set is very simple. If you are working in your data set and you don't know which particular column based on what column I have to identify the duplicate, then you can check with your solution architect or a lead or manager to know which column based on which column I have to identify the duplicate. So here in our case, it's going to be account number. Fine. So now let's first do a select. I'll show you the records. So, OK, I have nine records, but we do have duplicates in this. OK, the very first one. I'm going to use a very first way of identifying the duplicate. So select account number, comma, count star from employees. If I run this query, definitely I'll be getting an error. The reason is I am not using group by because whenever you use an aggregated query like count star and you have a select statement, one more column in the select statement like account number, then definitely this account number should be part of group. Any other column other than the aggregated one should come as part of the group by. Okay, you can see the error here. So now what I'm going to do, group by, I'm just going to give this account number. So you can just give account number. Now run this. But the thing is, it will give you the duplicates and also unique values. If you see here, one, two, three, four, five, it says three times we have the same account number for three different rows. And five, four, three, two, one account number is also three times for three different rows. But if you see other records or just say still it's one. So I don't want to have unique record also as part of my output because I just want to identify only the duplicate record. So what I have to do, you can add a keyword called having count star greater than one. So that means any count which is greater than one, you will be getting in the output. See, I'm getting only two records, only the duplicate records. So this is one way. So next way, I'm going to show you how to do the same with window function. So window function itself a very big topic, but I'll try to make it very simple for you. So let me start with select ID comma account number. And then there is a function called row number. Okay, so row number is a function and this is part of window function. 
So in window function, we have more than six plus window functions. And then I'm going to show you only one for now, which is row number. And when you use this row number, there is few more things that you have to add as part of the query. So let me just copy that. Okay. So whenever you use row num, you have to use over and partition by. Okay. So this is something that it gives row number for each particular row based on what column we are giving as a partition by. So if you see partition by, okay, imagine I am giving partition by account number. So what this row number will do, it creates a row number based on the account number by partitioning it. Now that means if you see it creates one partition for this account 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and there is one more 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. For all these three records, it creates one partition and it gives row number for each of that record. Okay. By showing you the output, you will understand what I'm coming to say. Okay. Form. I'm just giving an allies name for the row, row number function and the table name. Okay. So now if I run this, you can see here ID account number and then rn which is the row number function it has some numbers 1 2 3 1 2 3 see here 1 2 3 4 5 account number first occurrence has 1 and second duplicate has 2 third duplicate has 3 and then again for the next account number it starts with 1 and that is what the advantage of this row number it gives the row number based on the records we whether we have unique records or duplicate records so 5 4 3 2 1 also three times duplicates but if you see this 6 7 8 9 0 has one only because it has only one record with that particular account number and 9 8 7 6 5 also has one row number because it has only one row for that particular account number now this is very easy so with that i can able to get the duplicate records outside but for doing that what i'm going to do i'm going to do one more additional stuff with the common table expression we call this with us common table expression that means you can create a temporary table kind of thing in the runtime of the query but this is not same as the view don't think in that way view is something once you create it will be there until you drop it but with is not like that once the script got completed this demo will be get deleted automatically okay so now here I created a temporary table for the output of this query. Now what I'm going to do, account number, comma count star from you have to use demo, not employee. Okay, demo where R n greater than one. So when I say R n, the allies name that we have given here. Okay, greater than one and group by group by account number. Okay, let me run this course. Okay, so I have given 3C here. I'm sorry. Okay, so let me run this. Okay, now you can see here it just gives only the duplicate account numbers and the count. So here I'm just using greater than 1. So that is the reason it is giving uh, like it's so if you see in the previous output, right, you may ask like in having also we are getting the same. Yeah, both are same. But here I'm using window function here. I'm just using having but here it is gives 3. The reason is it gives actual plus 2. So totally three, but here it is not giving the actual, it just says only two copies additionally we have. So that's the difference. Okay. So this is all about this video. In the next video, let's discuss how to identify which record I can have, which record I can delete based on what scenarios. Okay. So thanks for watching. If you really like this video, please do subscribe my channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues. And we do a lot of data engineering related videos in my channel and the data tech is my Instagram page as well. Please do follow me there as well. Thanks for watching.